been doing groupings, right? I hope you're not getting tired. Are you getting tired? If yes, then you can eat a little something, drink some water, get the energy back. Because tables need a lot of your brain. Yes, it needs to make you work more with numbers. Correct. So, are you excited to work with multiplication tables a little more? Let's get started again. How many? Do you want to know how? For this, I have two of my friends, Ram and Gopal. Now, as you can see in the picture, Ram has some bouquets. Similarly, Gopal also has some bouquets. Let us talk about the bouquets which Ram has. There are four bouquets with Ram, four groups of three flowers. As you can see, if you can count with me, that in every bouquet there are three flowers. Hmm. So we can say four into three. So how many flowers is Ram using to make the bouquets in total? Ram used twelve flowers in all. Easily we did that by multiplying 4 with 3. Now, let us talk about Gopal. There are 3 bouquets with Gopal and each bouquet has 4 flowers. So, 3 groups of 4 flowers. Or we can multiply and find out the total number of flowers. So, 3 into 4. Good. So, Gopal used 12 flowers in all to make the bouquets. Now, tell me one thing. Did you observe something? Discuss with your friend what did you observe? Even though Ram had four bouquets and Gopal had three bouquets, but the total number of flowers is same. How is that possible? Well, in each bouquet of Ram, he had three flowers, whereas in each bouquet of Gopal, he had four flowers. So, one had four bouquets of three flowers, that is, four groups of three flowers. The other had three groups of four flowers. So, we are just working with four and three. So, it doesn't matter where we write four and where we write three, the total will always be twelve. So, 4 into 3 is also 12 and 3 into 4 is also 12. Isn't it interesting? Now, can you test this observation? Now, we have just, just discussed it. Test your observation with the other examples. Hmm, my mouth is already watering. These yummy gulab jamuns. Oh my God, it is going to be difficult to work with the gulab jamuns. but. We have to handle it, right? Hmm. <laughs> Let us do. If you can see, in image number 1, there are 4 groups of 5 gulab jamuns. And in image number 2, there are 5 groups of 4 gulab jamuns. Great! Now, can you fill in the blanks that how many times 5 is in the first image? Good! And 4 into 5 is equal to what now? Yes. So, there are dash gulab jamuns in the first image. Can you do the second one on your own? And tell me, there are how many gulab jamuns in total in the second image? Hmm, after those yummy, yummy gulab jamuns, it's time for these fragmented flowers. Are you ready to work with the flowers? Because I am and I'm sure you are too. So, let's start. So, in these two images, you can see six groups of four flowers. Yes, in the first one. And in the second one, we have four groups of six flowers. Now, can you fill in the blanks that are given on your screens and tell me the total number of flowers in each? Very good. Continue trying. Take your time. Do it slowly without making mistakes and in case you feel there is something wrong, check what you have done. Yes, 
that is exactly how we solve the sums. Now, on your screens, can you see some bindis? Hmm, just like the one that I have put on my forehead. So, there are 8 packets of bindis and each packet has 5 bindis. Number of packets is equal to what? Can you count? Very good. Number of bindis in each packet is equal to what? You can count in just one packet because the number is same in all the packet and you will have your answer. Good. Now fill in the blanks to tell me the total number of bindis. Excellent. Shall we move on? Great. Bharti puts four buttons on each shirt. She wants to put buttons on seven shirts. Can you see these seven colourful shirts on your screen? Hmm. So, she wants to put buttons on these. So, total number of shirts is equal to what? Count? Yes, you're right. And number of buttons on each shirt is equal to what? As I said, count on one because the number is same for all the shirts. Very good. So, now can you tell me the answer, the total number of buttons in these seven shirts? Do it slowly. Yes, carefully. Remember the tables that we did. Hmm. Very good. Now, let us move on to the next one. Rita bought six pencils of rupees four each. How much money will she give to the shopkeeper? So, the cost of one pencil is, it is given in the question, read it, rupees 4, that's right. So, number of pencils that she has bought is 6 and cost of one pencil is equal to 4. So, cost of 6 pencils is equal to, we will add 4 six times. That's one way of writing it. Good. Or when we have to multiply it, we can say 6 into 4 is equal to, tell me, 24. So, Rita will give 24 rupees to the shopkeeper. Very good. Now, can you do the next question? It's a challenge now, let me tell you. Five people can sit in a car. How many people can sit in eight such cars? Yes, I know you know the answer. So, first of all, tell me the number of people sitting in one car. Good. And now, the number of people sitting in eight cars is equal to what? Solve it. I will not help you here because I know that you can do it on your own. Now, we had fun with tables. It's time for making multiplication table. Yes, do you know you can create third table by using two tables or you can create another table by using a table two times. So, now Rudra is making multiplication table of four using the table of two. Let us see what he's doing. So, as I can see, Rudra has added the table of 2. Hmm, so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 6 plus 6 is 12. 8 plus 8 is 16. 10 plus 10 is 20. 12 plus 12 is 24. 14 plus 14 is 28. 16 plus 16 is 32, 18 plus 18 is 36 and 20 plus 20 is 40. Oh yeah, that's right. That is table of 4. So interestingly, Rudra has created table of 4 by using table of 2. This is interesting. Now let us make the table of 6 from the table of 3. Do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> I knew you'll say no. Yes. Can you try it on your own now? So, 3 plus 3 is 6. Can you go till the end, till 10? 
table of 3 2 times will give you table of 6. That's right. This is so interesting. Hmm, I'm more curious now. Let us make the table of 7 from the tables of 3 and 4. Hmm, it is not just the table of same number can give us a number, but we can add the tables of two different numbers to get the table of a third one. We just have to see the sum of those two numbers. For example, 3 and 4 is equal to 7. So when we add the tables of 3 and 4, we get the table of, right, 7. Can you see it on the screen? How table of 3 plus table of 4 gives us table of 7 from 1 till 10. Good. Now, challenge, another challenge. I know I give you so many challenges, but I also know that you enjoy doing those challenges. So make the table of 8 from the table of 2 and 6. Good. Can you also make the table of 8 by using the table of 4? <laughs> Good. Enjoy it. Take your time. Count, multiply to get the table of 8. All you have to do is fill in the table of 2 first, then fill in the table of 6 and then add both the tables. Excellent! Excellent! Pat your backs once again.